Good morning, I'm Mrs. Abbott from Eastern Heights and today I'm going to show you a fun way to practice uh, finding and plotting ordered pairs with coordinate grid battleship. This is something that my students and I enjoy playing in the classroom, but since we're not in the classroom, I wanna show you how you can do this from home. All you need is some notebook paper and a ruler and something to write with, and that's basically it. We've also got folders. I'll show you why we have folders in just a moment, but we wanna start out by creating our coordinate grids. And so since we can't just print those off, um, that's what we're using the notebook paper for. I've chosen notebook paper because the notebook paper already has the horizontal lines, and so the only thing that we needed to draw were the vertical lines. And so you'll notice that I've created two 10 by 10 grids on this piece of notebook paper. And the reason that we created two is because um, when you play Battleship, you have your grid that represents where your boats are, and then you have the other one, which is your target grid, um, trying to find the other person's ships. And so we want them to be 10 by 10, which means uh, we go over 10 and up 10. Remember with ordered pairs, the X comes first. So this down here that's labeled is my X axis and this is my Y axis. And um, so I've created two of those on one piece of notebook paper and I've, I labeled the numbers as well so that it'll be easier to find once we start playing the game. And so once you have created that for each person, Malia's is already done and in her folder, um, we have chosen to use folders so that we can keep our grids hidden from the other person. And so I am going to put this right inside a yellow folder, just like this. I'm gonna kind of fold it here in the middle and I have a piece of tape over here that I can use to keep it from moving. So if you've ever played Battleship before, you know you're trying to find the other person's ships before they find yours. And so for your purposes, you can either um, just take a pencil and draw uh, the ships in, or we have chosen to use like little pieces of um, sticky paper. That way we can take them off and we can play this game more than once since we went to the trouble to make the coordinate grids. So we're, we're going to each put three of these on our ocean grid. So my ocean grid is this part up here, and so I'm going to secretly find three locations of where I want my ships to be, and Malia and I will take turns um, calling out ordered pairs to guess the location of the other person's ships. The first one to find all three ships is the winner. And so this bottom part down here is where I'm going to mark my guesses. Um, if I'm incorrect, I'll put a little X at that spot. Um, and again, you're trying to find their ships before they find yours. So we'll show you how we play this. So Malia, can you come in to uh, focus there in the camera? And uh, you can go first. So give me an ordered pair. Uh, two, four. So her guess is over two, up four. So that would be over two, up four. As you can see, she's not correct. A little bit close, but not correct. So on her uh, grid down at the bottom, she's gonna put an X, because that was wrong. All right, uh, Malia, my guess to you is five, three. That would be over five, up three. Remember that X value, the side to side number is the first one. So five, three. Nope. All right, so I'm gonna put an X right there at that spot to show that that was not a correct guess. Uh, seven, two. Seven, two. That is a miss. That's a no. How about one, nine? Hit. Ooh, I got my first one. So I'm just going to put like a little circle or a star right there. So I have one of her three ships. We're going to keep playing um, and you can play this at home as well. We hope you have fun with it. Go ahead. Um, three, three.